And we begin this morning on Blueprint newspapers here in Nigeria. It says PDP crisis. Article calls Wiki's bluff. Says it's time to move on. Insists nobody can force IU to resign. We backed out of campaign council because he remains in office. Says Wiki group. IU's exit will spell doom for PDP. Says Don. And um, on page 16, uh, you can find more of these stories. Um, also, Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt, and others poised for rate hike. It's in page 22. Humanitarian crisis exposing Bainway to food insecurity. And that's from the governor of the state, uh, Samuel Otom. Um, 2022 Hajj, Nakan Committee recommends Yobe, Kaduna, Lagos, SMPWB's forward. We can also find here 77th UNGA, Buhari 6 debt cancellation from China, US, and others. You can find more on that on page 18. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it, it would make a great discussion, you know, to see if it, if it can happen that easy. You know, let, if, if, because these lo uh, Chinese loans, you know, are between, you know, a lot of them are between 2015 and 2022. Um, and it will, make a, it will definitely make a great discussion to see how far the loans have come, what they've been used for, and if China can just simply wait. Yeah, that's them. another question to ask. What were the loans used for? This is not the first time we've gotten some form of debt cancellation, but then what next after that? Yeah, and also bear in mind that you know to fund the budget, we're still going to have to, of course, seek more loans. Um, the budget deficit for now is, is still in trillions of naira, and so to fund you know the next year's budget, very likely they will be seeking more loans, and so it just. You know, at what point do we stop seeking loans? You know, if they seeking cancel aid. the ones between 2015 and now, then how do we uh, then exactly continue we from continue here? Exactly, borrowing. So, I mean, it's, it's it will make a really, really great discussion. I mean, borrowing isn't always such a bad thing. Even the greatest government, oh, absolutely, it's a great thing if you're certain that the money is going to be implemented the yeah. right way. Maybe put into infrastructure development of the sort. The question is, the ones that we have borrowed, what did we use it for, and you know, why are we in this much debt? Yeah, That's we the we will um, be pulling in an economist. You know, sometime. You know, I hope. Hopefully uh, this week or next week uh, to have this discussion you know, and see if uh, debt cancellation can happen so easy if it's possible uh, from uh, China. If wishes were horses, yes, beggars were right. All right, let's continue with the Blueprint News Supers this morning. Just a few more stories uh, to share with you. It says flood sweeps away 200 bodies in Niger Cemetery and also leaked memo no crisis among justices of Supreme Court, says CJN Ariwala. Um, uh, Kano, DSS, NSCDC operatives arrest 14 over sale of new Naira notes. And uh, finally, this one in Russia, Ukraine war, Putin issues nuclear threats to the West. And oh, I think I can just hold this in. Asu Defiant has called orders members to resume work. All right, we'll be looking into the details of that story. That's one of our top stories today. Well, let's still stay in Nigeria, but looking this time at the first newspaper on the front page, Atiku calls Wiki allies bluff says nobody can sack IU as rivers governor allies pull out of Atiku's campaign council i'm waiting for the religious people to start using it as prayer points that the, the way this IU has gotten defense you know let that let them defend me and speak for me in places where my name cannot be mentioned or where my name is mentioned behind my back he's really gotten a lot of support from Atiku Abubakar and uh, part of his team now senate screens confirms that Ruola cjn industrial court Others are sued to end strike. Union fights on to appeal resumption order. Court ruling shameful, says Nance. ERC kick ask Labour to declare nationwide strike. Sack CSO hires robbers to rob Ogun Company. IHRC to federal government discuss with IPOB, Yoruba agitators and bandits. International Day of Peace, shun discrimination, crime, pirates, confraternity, urges Nigeria. That's a really interesting one there. Onga, Buhari vows commitment to free, fair, credible elections, PDP crisis, Wiki merits commendation, fighting a national cause. And this is according to an APC chieftain. Your role in Nigeria's democracy is indelible, Obasa tells Remi Tinumbu at 62. Uh, three more stories here before I wrap it up here in Nigeria. Peter Obi shares UNN certificate online for public view. I'm, I'm sure this is amidst the controversies that have come out. You know, yesterday the final list was published by INEC for the presidential candidates and there were certain controversies, rumors here and there about their degrees and uh, of certain presidential candidates. I'm sure that this is just to clear the air. Judices are bound in Buhari's government, says Governor Yahaya Bello. And uh, of course, final story here. Oh, we did take this earlier, but I'll re-emphasize it. It's at the top of the paper again. IHRC to federal government discuss with IPOB, 
Yoruba agitators and bandits. How much more discussion can the government really have? So they're saying the government should discuss with the um, with the uh, IPOP to discuss with Yoruba agitators and to discuss with bandits. Yeah, there's, there's, there's never you know too much you know of uh, discussions that will bring peace. Um, as long as everyone is, I mean, that's that's the option. So you know, the, the, the question now would be, what what do they really want? What are they agitating yeah, exactly. for? What does you, IPOP want? What, what are their demands? You know, and, and in a democratic situation, you know, it's always it's always a safer option. You know, that you make people understand that you can always come to a table. We can always discuss. Um, the use of force, you know, may not always be the answer, and that's on both sides. You know, from the government side and from the agitators, um, it's always a better option to discuss. You know, the only you know challenge, and if we're talking about discussion now, Asu may not want that because you know they've been discussing for so long you know but you know yeah. after those discussions you know how much of, the, of, of the um, um memorandum, memorandum of understanding is implemented you know after those discussions unfortunately asub says that yeah, a lot of times it's just agreements that are signed and nothing is done so um but i would always you know um say a discussion bring everyone to the table let's talk about what you're even though are. even though the battle see with Asu in the middle. Yeah. totally different from the one we're oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. that one's more security yeah related. Yeah, just so to mention it. All right, that's important. And that's all that we can take this morning in Nigeria. Let's head over to Tanzania. All right, let's see what the Citizens newspapers has for us. It says here, focus now shifts to bank service fees as government works on the relevant regulations following this decision to scrap some bank service levies and reduce those imposed on mobile transactions. The focus has inevitably shifted to fees levied by service providers, which is seen as excessive. Also, ministry, no Ebola here but exercise vigilance. And of course, uh, this is coming from uh, the news of a new Ebola outbreak. Um, we can also find here um, uh, how new care chief changed airport's fortunes. Also, Tanzania, Mozambique pledge renewed efforts to boost ties. Um, just a few stories. Also, national appeal makes slave route a tourist attraction, says NGO, and that's on page five. Business exhibition. India and Tanzania set to boost technological ties, as on page 8, and then international news conflict. NATO chief hits out at Putin's reckless nuclear talk on page 16. These are the big ones on the Citizen newspapers this morning. Now let's move to South Africa with the Sowetan on the front page. The big story on the Sowetan is power crisis. Now taps dry up. We've been following up with the power crisis going on uh, in South Africa. Low pressure in East Rand. Joe Box struggling to fill up some reservoirs and more than 1,500 villages without water as municipalities feel impact of ESCOM's severe load shedding. Details on page 4. Tebe Wadibusa again on page 3. Now on the right, page of, right part of the front page, we can see the case against Palain, former acting national police commissioner charged on page 2. Has chiefs failed Piliat or has he failed at chiefs? That's on page 19. Provinces sit on 5 billion naira rand in unpaid invoices on page nine and final story at the top of paper uh former president of uh, south africa tabon Beke, is asking where's leadership that's a question we must ask around the continent it's not just about having leaders who have been uh, put in places of office where actually is leadership these are the stories that we have for you this morning mm -hmm.